Hey all, welcome to Color Splash. This is Rachel Miller sitting here working about to do my fourth of four tiles before I attack a much larger canvas on this dreary Columbus day. Happy birthday, mom. Hope everything's beautiful on the beach where you're at right now. So I decided to give the black holes a rest, which I'm sure everybody's probably grateful for at the moment. And instead I'm playing with another much more simple look. And I just grabbed my pearl base to use as my pillow. Now this is my more aggressive pearl base as far as the amount of satin enamel is in it. And I just really liked what I got from my kind of um, experimental pearl base that I made this morning. And now I'm gonna see what happens if I do this with kind of my old faithful. God, I've got like these little fruit flies dri uh, driving me nuts. I don't know where they suddenly came from and it's fall, like it's kind of gross. So sorry if you see them, there are two of them, but they seem to be completely fascinated by what I'm doing. Might be the light that I've got shining down. I need to like attach a piece of tape or something to catch the little suckers. Okay, anyway, so I'm starting with a pretty good wallop of um, Neutral Gray by Amsterdam. I'm going with the exact same color palette I just used on the previous tile because I think it came out so pretty. And I am grabbing my Titanium Buck. I'm gonna kind of put a good bit of my titanium buff down. This is also by Amsterdam. Then I think I went with my Arteza Payne's Gray. And then this color I'm really digging in this little tile. Um, it's called Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. I have to be honest, I, I don't know if I've ever used it or if so, very seldomly. I love what it did on the last tile. It was so gorgeous. Created almost this ceramic-like glaze effect when combined with the other colors. That was Sky Blue by Amsterdam. This is Turquoise Green by Amsterdam. Then I'm going to grab this, what I'm calling parakeet green. It's just a color I made up myself using um, the olive light hue by Amsterdam and a little bit of Artist Loft, um, just their soft body white. And then this brand new color I've never used before that I am totally now digging called um, Soft Gold, and it is by Deco Art. Really nice color. Uh-oh, Robbie, you're gonna get tangled up there in my tripod, buddy. And then, let's see, I came back in with a little bit more of this neutral gray color. Whoops. Actually, I think that's not a bad idea to kind of expand that up a little bit. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that soft gold. Let me just see what happens this time. Play a little bit with it, a little bit of the parchment. I really love the parchment up against any white color because it creates depth and I especially in the pearl cells and I like that so let me do a little wrong mix a little mini moat of my pearl mix here excuse my arm it's 
since I am going to be using a blow dryer fairly aggressively. Last time I blew this out on the low setting, I had intended to do it on high. So hopefully I touched the right button this time. I'm just putting down a little bit of cell activator. That should be more than enough. And now let me grab my blow dryer and let's see what we get. All right, hot. It's maybe too strong. Whoa. Definitely, probably too strong. Way, way, way too strong. Blow backwards a little bit. Well, y'all, I might need to scrape this bad boy and start again. It, it, I should have left well enough alone before I jumped this way too far across the tile. I mean, it's not bad, actually. Let me let it develop here for a second because there are some pretty cool things happening. You know, I may take this back. There are some really cool things happening here. Okay. Okay. I am going to roll with this and let this just do its thing. I can see little tiny dots of the parakeet color starting to pop through. The blues are moving so organically amongst the cell activator. I, I'm seeing a lot of that soft gold color. I am not mad at this. Let me take you guys in for a closer look. It's, it's really a cool tile. These are so fast to do. Look at what's going on here. Let, here. let me back it on up. This is another real beauty. I mean, it wasn't exactly like my last one. They never are going to be. And I really kind of love kind of the disparate movement, like just the way that the lacing is kind of breaking in these waves crashing across each other. That's super cool. And the way I'm getting just those little, whoops, pops of that parakeet green. I really quite like this. Now I didn't get so much of the soft gold down here creating that more glaze look, but I'm not mad at that either. I, I really like what this tile is doing. I really like the movement in it. I think it's gonna dry, especially, especially especially well. I'm not real sure which angle I like it from best. It's really a very cool, ooh, that's a cool view. I think I might like it from this angle. I just love the way, sorry, my fingers are covered in paint. This looks like kind of claws coming through and grabbing into the paint. What a cool little tile this turned out to be. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna mix up some more of my neutral gray and I'm gonna grab a much larger canvas and try this out This in a much bigger piece. I think this might have some real impact on a bigger amount of wall space. Thank you so, so much for supporting me, for watching me. Your support means so much. Um, please click like and subscribe. As always, happy painting. This is Rachel Miller with Color Splash. Bye, guys.